So we're now going to consider option C, and option C is about um, using a, a completely different file, um, this time using uh, the results file, which looks like this, and not the fixtures file, which uh, looks uh, completely different, and calculating uh, some points, so basically working out that um, a winning match is worth uh, three points and putting the, the points um, next to that. So that's really what we're after uh, with uh, this particular one. So the first issue really for us to deal with is how do we open another file. Now we have a function already which opens a file, reads in the lines, and then it removes the comma um, and gets rid of the, the, the new line and gives us back the data. So let's just have a look at what the, um, the other file uh, looks like. So if we have a look at this file, uh, this, I've just opened it up in um, the uh, same program I'm writing my Python programs in. Um, and so again, I've got data separated by a comma which is good because we've already written um, a function to deal with that and there's a blank uh, there's a new line character at the end of um, every one of these lines and that's why the um, the next row is displayed on a new line so uh, pretty much we can use the exact same function so we could copy this function and call it get results data file but a much better way of doing it is if we've already got a function which deals with this file, why don't we use the exact same function but get it to deal with whatever comma separated file we give it. Um, so to make this a general purpose function, there's a couple of things that we want to do. The first thing we want to do is we want to put in um, uh, some of our global variables and we're going to put our file names as global here uh, global constants so these aren't going to change and what we'll do is we'll just we'll have a fixtures file and we will we'll call it this so Let's just copy that and paste it. And then we've got a results file, which we're going to call, uh, well, we know what it's called because that's given to us here. So this is what it's called. So let's uh, control copy or command copy, depending on what kind of computer you're working on. And so if we've got um, this, um, always referring to our fixtures file and this name always referring to our results file then what well, one of the things we can do with this function to make it general is to say do you know i'll tell you what kind of file to open so i will give you a file name i'll maybe spell that correctly so i'll give you a file name and whatever file name i give you i want you to open that file name and give me back the data from it. So what we're doing here is we're saying this function is going to become general purpose and it's always going to give us back um, so a list of lists which it's formatted so that we can process it. So having made this change where this function now takes um, an argument which is going to be the file name how do we call this function how do we change it when we've called it here and here so one of the things um, that we're going to do is say okay when we run option a we always want to give it the um, uh, fixtures file name and for that we'll just use this uh, fixtures file name here just to keep it very clear these two are the same um, and the same with this particular one we're always going to give it fixtures so I could 
quite easily have not um, created global constants at the top we could just copy that file name and paste it in there as a string and just say go away and open that file and this would still work um, but for our purposes it's it's better to make this very explicit because if these file names change then you only change them at the top and all of our functions will still work so making these changes um, in how we call the function uh, get file uh, data will stop any syntax errors from turning up but we just want to make sure that this is going to work with the results file as well so let's just uh, run this program so let's save it and run it so I've just saved it and pressed F5 so now let's just run this function and this time it's expecting a file name to be given and we've already declared this saves us having to type in uh, the quotes and the dot txt and all the rest of it so let's see what that gives us back okay that gives us back the formatted data which is from the results file which is great so that looks like there is no um, uh, blank line and it's separated out all of the data um, and so we have the data in a format that we can process which is uh, excellent for um, implementing option C so let's have a look at how we will go about doing option C so we'll just do the beginning part of option C so option C again we're not giving it anything but this time so I'm using the same uh, variable name as I've used here but there's no reason to I can call this something else completely so I could just say um, uh, results because that's what this is uh, in fact that's not a good name because I've already used a, a global called results there so maybe we could call it all results or something like that um, we'll keep it as all lines and we're going to use the file get file data function and in this time instead of calling it with fixtures we're going to call this with results so what's great now is we've got just the one function which gets file data and we're using it for option A and we're using the same function for option B and we're going to use exactly the same function for option C even though the name of our file is different even though we're using a different file so that's great because we've got a general function now and now we can worry about how we have to um, do the rest of option C so we'll just um, end here and then we'll look uh, in more detail about how to finish off the rest of this